all right youtube family i am back with another video on how i make my sea moss eczema wash the body wash so what you're gonna do is you're going to start off with any base okay now you can get any kind of liquid glycerin base um this is one that i get based in seattle um and yeah you can use this but i also use one that's off of amazon but um, I just wanted to show you guys this video really quick. So I'm going to use this one. So as you can see, I've poured it in here. Um, I poured it to 400, 450, well, 400 milliliters, which is pretty much like two cups. All right. Um, and to be honest, I never really measure things. I just kind of eyeball everything. So anyways, all right, you're gonna need your base. You're gonna need your sea moss gel. You're gonna need your calendula oil. This is my homemade one. You're gonna need your coconut oil, vitamin E oil, tea tree oil, and turmeric. You can also put peppermint oil or um, rosemary oil also. So. All right, here's our base, and what we are going to do is we are going to add in the turmeric first. And I'm just going to sprinkle it in. You don't want to put too much. Yep. Put that in there. And then just going to pour a little bit of the coconut oil. Yep. Just a couple drops. Now we are going to do our vitamin E oil. You don't want to put too much of that because that vitamin E oil is a really rich oil. Now we're going to put the tea tree oil in. And the tea tree oil um, is, has like this minty medicine smell. So you don't want to put too much of this either. But this is like one of the best main ingredients for eczema. Um, and for any like eczema... Um, body washes or soaps or anything like that even for the face um so now we're going to put our calendula oil in all right so i'll just put a teaspoon of that in there i'll probably do one more teaspoon all right. All right. Now we're going to put our sea moss in. And you know what? Just so you guys can see, I'm just going to put um like let's say one two, three, four. Yeah, I'll just put four teaspoons in there. All right. You are now going to need your hand mixer. I recommend getting one of these if you're going to be making soaps and stuff like that because it's just way easier than trying to blend everything with like a spoon because everything doesn't blend with a spoon. So, I'm just going to blend this. <laughs> We are going to get our bottle, it's going to get our funnel, it's going to pour it in. All 
Okay, so here's your CMOS eczema body wash. And if you know anyone that's struggling with eczema, this is like something that's very, very, very great for the skin. Um, I've had nothing but great feedback from this and I have healed a lot of people's skin. So if you know anyone struggling with eczema, try this and I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. CMOS is so amazing. I wanted to cuss just now, but I didn't. But CMOS is so great for the skin. It it just hydrates it. it. It's a skin collagen, so it keeps the skin looking young and firm and just, it's just amazing. It has all the vitamins. So just imagine, you know, putting it on your skin. It's amazing. So yeah. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'm also going to be doing a giveaway within the next two weeks, and it's going to be a month of free sea moss, which you'll get 10 lemonades and two 16 ounces of sea moss gels. So, all right, like I said, don't forget to like and subscribe, share this video, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.